What's up everyone, Rob from Ishimoto. Today we're going to install our baffled catch can system in your 2013 plus Cadillac ATS 2.0 turbo. Let's get started. Tools recommended for installation include 2.5 and 6 millimeter Allen keys, T30 Torx, 10 millimeter socket, quarter inch drive ratchet, extension, and driver, 13 millimeter socket, 3 8 drive ratchet and extension, a flathead screwdriver, diagonal cutters, 18 and 19 millimeter wrenches. Installation time is about one hour. Installation difficulty is a two out of five. This video covers the installation of the full kit. If you only purchased one of the catch cans, some steps will not apply to your installation. Assemble the catch cans. There are two different size fittings with identical threads. The larger fittings will install to the can with the larger bracket, and the smaller fittings will install to the can with the smaller bracket. It doesn't matter which can you install them to initially, as the cans are identical. Install the larger fittings to one of the catch cans and snug them with a wrench, but don't over tighten them. The fittings have a tapered thread and will not be flush when fully installed. Repeat this process on the other can with the smaller fittings. Install the large bracket to the can with the large fittings and secure it with the provided bolts and plastic washers. Then install the smaller bracket to the other can in the same way. Leave the bolts loose for now to allow for adjustment. Remove the two bolts that secure the K-brace to the passenger side strut tower. Install the can with the smaller bracket over the K-brace and secure it with the bolts you just removed. Remove the two bolts that secure the K-brace to the driver's side strut tower. Install the can with the larger bracket over the K-brace and secure it with the bolts you just removed. Remove the oil filler cap and engine cover bolt. Then remove the engine cover by lifting up on the front edge and sliding it forward. Note the tabs on the engine cover and the slots underneath the cowl for reassembly. Then reinstall the oil filler cap to prevent anything from falling inside the engine. Disconnect the CCV hose from the intake pipe. If you have an earlier model Cadillac, release the fitting by sliding the locking tab over and pulling the hose off of the port. If you have a newer model, you will need to use the disconnect tools provided with your kit. Locate the hose disconnect tools provided with your kit. These tools will be used to depress the internal locking tabs of the CCV hose where it attaches to the intake and valve cover. The locking tabs are located directly between the two dimples near the edge of the connector. There are two tabs on each connector which must be depressed simultaneously to remove the hose. Slip the tools inside the connector and squeeze the connector and tools together to depress the tabs. Then slide the connector off of the fitting. Remove the bolt that secures the CCV hose to the valve cover. Disconnect the two CCV hose connections at the valve cover using the same method you used for the fitting on the intake. Then remove the hose from the vehicle. Remove the PCV plug from the valve cover. Locate the PCV adapter included with your kit. Lubricate the O-ring with fresh engine oil and install it to the valve cover. Take care when installing this adapter. The end of the adapter fits into a tube on the inside of the valve cover and the O-ring can be damaged if it's forced in. Depending on how your valve cover was threaded, the adapter may point towards the front or rear of the vehicle when tightened. The provided hoses will work regardless of which direction your valve is pointing. Locate the L-shaped hose in your CCV side catch can kit. Lead the end with the bend alongside the valve cover until it reaches the CCV port. Slip one of the large worm gear clamps over the end of this hose and install the large 90 degree fitting. Then tighten the clamp to secure the hose. Slip a worm gear clamp over the other end of the hose and install it to the port marked in on the catch can and tighten the clamp to secure it. 
Locate the Y-shaped hose and straight fitting in your CCV side kit. Install one of the larger worm gear clamps over the hose and insert the fitting. Then tighten the clamp to secure the hose. Install the fitting to the connection on the intake. Then slip a worm gear clamp over the end of the hose and install the hose to the port marked out on the catch can. Now tighten the clamp to secure the hose. Locate the last fitting and clamp in your CCV side kit. Install the clamp and small 90 degree fitting to the hose and tighten the clamp to secure it. Then attach the fitting to the CCV side port on the valve cover. Tighten the bolts that secure the catch can to the bracket. Then use the zip ties provided with your kit to secure the vapor lines to the engine. Locate the S-shaped hose in your PCV side kit. Install one of the larger clamps over the wider end of the hose. Then install the hose to the port marked out on the catch can. Depending on which direction your adapter is facing, you may not require the full length of the provided extension hose. Install the extension hose to the angled tube on the adapter and slip two worm gear clamps over the hose. Trim excess hose from the extension to create a smooth flowing hose. Our adapter was facing towards the rear of the vehicle and did not require any trimming. Then install the straight hose connector to the extension hose and install a clamp over the S-shaped hose. Join the two hoses together and tighten all four clamps to secure them. Locate the last hose in your PCV side kit. Install one of the larger clamps over the wide end of the hose and install it to the port marked in on the catch can. Slip the last hose clamp over the other end of the hose and install it to the straight tube on the PCV adapter. Then tighten both clamps. Tighten the bolts that secure the catch cans to the bracket. Reinstall the valve cover. Remove the oil filler cap and slip the tabs on the back of the valve cover into the slots under the cowl and lower the cover down. Secure the cover with the original bolt and reinstall the oil filler cap. Now that you've got the catch cans installed, double check all your connections and fire up that Cadillac for a test drive. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out.